हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन द फॉलोइंग डायग्राम शोज अ रेक्टेंगल एंड अ स्क्वेर विद डायमेंशन गिवन नाउ सी हियर टू डायग्राम्स आर गिवन दिस इज वन डायग्राम एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड डायग्राम द मेजरमेंट इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर एंड दिस इज सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ओके नाउ दिस इज अवर जस्ट जनरल इन्फॉर्मेशन वी आर हैविंग नाउ वी विल गो टू द क्वेश्चन दैट ए क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द पैरीमीटर ऑफ ईच फिगर मीन्स बोथ द फिगर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द पैरीमीटर ओके वन इज रेक्टेंगल बाय द मेजरमेंट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वन इज लेंथ एंड वन इज ब्रेथ एंड यर दिस इज स्क्वायर देर बिकॉज बोथ द साइड्स आर इक्वल इट मीन्स दिस टू साइड्स ऑल्सो विल बी इक्वल ओके सो वी विल पुट द फॉर्म्यूला फर्स्ट दैट पैरीमीटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल इक्वल्स टू टू इंटू एल प्लस बी नाउ हियर टू विल रिमेन सेम मल्टीप्लाई ऑल्सो विल रिमेन सेम नाउ लेंथ इज गिवन हाउ मच इट इज गिवन सो इट इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड ब्रेथ इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर ओके सो आई विल राइट हियर फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी नाउ आई विल कीप टू एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन सेम फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी Will be twenty five. Now we need to multiply this. Two fives are ten, so zero one carry two two zero four plus one five. Eight means fifty centimeter. This is the perimeter of a rectangle. Means all four sides when you will count, then you will get how much to a fifty centimeter. Now we will go go to the perimeter of square. We have to find out. So the formula of the perimeter of square equals to four multiply by side. So four will remain same. Multiply will remain same, and side is given six, six centimeter. So we need to multiply four six the twenty four. So twenty four centimeter. Okay. Now this is two different different perimeters. We have got perimeters of rectangle and perimeter of square. Now we will go to the B question. What is the B question? That which figure has a greater perimeter and by how much? Now by this answers you can say which perimeter is greater there. So definitely perimeter of rectangle is greater than the perimeter of square. But by how much you have to say? So what you need to do by this you have to do subtraction. So first of all I will mention here fifty centimeter. What is fifty centimeter? So it is perimeter of rectangle we need to do what subtraction from what so it is 24 cm by 24 cm okay and this is what there 24 cm that is perimeter of square okay so your centimeter will remain same now 50 minus 24 it will give me how much so 26 it will give so the answer is 26 cm now we will mention our answer that perimeter of rectangle is greater by 26 cm okay so this is our answer now question number 8 we will go that is fill in the blanks now number 1 length is 14 m given breadth is how much it is not mentioned and perimeter equals to 48 m now here length and breadth given so perimeter means which perimeter it is so it is a perimeter of rectangle now here length is given but breadth is not given so we need to find out breadth so first of all we will write down the formula that perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into l plus b now perimeter is how much it is given 48 m okay and Two will remain same. Multiply will remain same. Now length is how much? It is fourteen meter, and we have to find out B. So we have to write B same as okay. Now in this question, what we have to do, you know, so that we have to find out breadth. So we will not touch breadth. We will keep it there only. But here we will do side change, sign change formula first. Here two will go this side. Now with two we are having multiplication sign, so it will become division. Okay. So here forty eight. Divide by two, and this year fourteen meter plus b will remain same. Length and breadth will remain same. Now here we will do cancellation. Two ones are two, two twos are four, and two fours are eight. So we will write therefore now twenty four meter. Here we will write okay, and here equals to fourteen meter plus b. 
Now here we will change the side of breadth. Now this B will go this side and this 24 will come this side. Okay. So here therefore breadth equals to now here 24 will come and this plus will become minus and here 14. Okay. So 24 minus will give me 10 meter. So what we got breadth is 10 meter and the length is 14 meter. And when you will put it again into the formula, so you will get the perimeter will be 48 meter. Now number 2, length equals to how much? Breadth equals to 8 centimeter and perimeter equals to 34 centimeter. Now here perimeter is given. But what about which perimeter it is there? Either it is square or rectangle. So we will see the question that it is length and breadth. Both things are mentioned. So definitely this is all about perimeter of rectangle. Now here length is not given but breadth is there. So first of all we will write down the formula. Therefore perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into L plus B. Now how much perimeter is given? So it is 34 centimeter. Okay. Equals to 2 will remain same. Multiply. Then length is how much we don't know. So we will write L only. Plus we are having 8 cm breadth. Now here we will do again side chain sign change. Or first of all you can move this 2 to this side. So therefore 34 divided by 2 equals to L plus 8. Now 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2. 1 is left, then 2 7s are 14. Okay. So what is left with us? Therefore, we are having 17 equals to L plus 8. Now again we have to do side change, sign change. Now this 17 we will bring here and this L we will bring here. Okay. So here I will write length equals to 17 now here plus this so it will become minus 8 okay now here when we will minus what we will get we will get 17 minus 8 we will get 9 centimeter so we got that length is 9 centimeter breadth is 8 centimeter and then again we will put in the formula and we will find out that we will come to know that perimeter is 34 centimeter only okay now we are having number 3 length equals to 20 mm breadth equals to how much and perimeter equals to 50 mm. Now again we have to do the same thing perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into L plus B. Now here perimeter is how much given that is 50. So we will write 50 mm equals 2 will remain same 2 will remain same multiply then length is 20 given plus breadth because breadth is not given we have to find out. Now here we will do again therefore now we will do side change sign change okay. So here 50 divide by 2 it will become equals to here 20 plus B will remain same. Now here we have to do divide 2 ones are 2 then 2 twos are 4 1 is left 2 5s are 10. So here 25 is left therefore 25 equals to 20 plus B. Now we have to bring B this side. So I will write here breadth equals to. Now here 25 here plus is that it will become minus 20. So 25 minus 20 it will give me the answer 5 mm. So breadth is 5 mm length is 20 mm. So we will get the perimeter equals to 50 mm. Okay. Now we will go to number 4. Length is how much? Breadth equals to 12 cm and perimeter equals to 80 cm. Okay. Now we will put here again formula. Therefore, perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into L plus B. Now perimeter is how much? So it is 80 cm equals to 2 will remain same. Multiply will remain same. Now length is how much? We don't know. So we will write L as it is. Then plus 12 cm. Okay. Now here again we have to do side change, sign change. Now here 80 divided by 2 we have to take and this L plus 12 will remain same. 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8 and 0 same as. Now here we are having 40. So therefore 40 equals to length plus 12. Now we have to do again side chain sign change. Now here length will come. So length equals to 40 here plus is there it will become minus 12. Okay, so 40 minus 12, it will give me how much? So it is 28 centimeter. Okay. 
Now we will go to question number nine. Find the length of a side of a square whose perimeter is. Now here we have to see that we have to find out the length of a side of square. Okay. So here first question is number one, twelve centimeter. Means this is given of perimeter of square is given. You have to find out the length. Okay. So therefore perimeter of square equals to four multiply by side. As we know that in a square we are having four equal sides. Now here perimeter is given that is twelve centimeter. Okay. But here four is will remain same. Multiply but side side we don't know. So side also will remain same because we don't know how uh, what is the side. We have to find out that. Now we will do side chain side chain. So first of all, therefore, your one side equals to now your twelve divided by four. It will become okay. So four ones are four and four threes are twelve. Now answer is one side. Equals to three centimeter. Now number two, ten point four centimeter. So therefore, perimeter of square equals to four multiply by side. Now here the perimeter is given that is ten point four centimeter. Okay, and this we will keep same as that is four multiply by side. Now therefore, one side. We have to find out that is why one side equals to now here ten point four is there. Okay, so you can take ten point four also as well as you can take one hundred and four upon ten also. So we will take here ten point four upon four. Okay, now we will do division here. So four ones are four, four twos are eight. As we know, okay. Now two is left here two. So two and four it will become twenty four. Okay, but here decimal is there, so we need to keep decimal point here. Then four in four table twenty four. How comes? So four six are twenty four. So the answer will be what equals to two point six centimeter. This is the one side there. Okay, so here you have to mention this answer. Answer one side equals to two point six centimeter. Now number three is there thirty six meter. So therefore perimeter of square equals to four multiply by side. Now perimeter is how much? So thirty six meter equals to four multiply by side. Okay. So therefore now what we have to find out that is one side. So one side equals to now thirty six divided by four. It should be now four ones are four, four nines are thirty six. So what will be the answer? One side. Equals to nine centi nine meter. Okay, because here in the question we are having meter. Now number four is seven point two meter. Okay, so therefore perimeter of square equals to four multiply by side. Now how much perimeter we are having? That is seven point two meter equals to four multiply by side. Okay, now what we have to find out? So we have to find out one side. So therefore, one side equals to seven point two divided by four. As we know now, we have to do division with the help of decimal only. So four ones are four, four ones are four. Okay. Now how much is left? Seven minus four, it will go. Then three will left. So three and two, it will become thirty two. Now decimal is there. Okay. So we have to put here also decimal. Then only we can take this together. Now four in four table thirty two. How comes? So four eights are thirty two. So the answer will be what? Answer one side equals to one point eight meter. Thank you.